Let's talk about ebooks versus low content books. Which one is better for passive income? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharik Deloach. I'm your digital publishing bestie, and I love to talk all things multiple streams of income in digital publishing. Now, before we get into today's content, I got to let you know about something new that I am doing. I'm hosting a free masterclass each month. And each month, I'm going to tackle a different part of digital publishing, okay? So for the month of October, actually on October the 10th, which is on a Thursday afternoon, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be live. We'll be in Zoom. Where I'm going to talk about the five mistakes authors make that cost them time, money, as well as energy. If when you join me live, you're going to learn all about those common mistakes. Plus, I'm going to show you how to um, really think about your book as a business as well as not so much focusing on Kindle by itself when it comes to your books, a plus a host of other strategies. Now, if you can't join me live, you can go ahead and grab the replay plus a workbook for only $27. So go to shareadydeloach.com forward slash masterclass and grab your seat for this month's masterclass. All right, so let's talk about ebooks versus low content books. We're going to tackle ebooks first. What is an ebook? An ebook is a digital book. A digital, most of the time, it can be a low content, I mean, a higher content book, um, meaning you are using an ebook where people can download it on their Kindle. You can even sell it as a PDF and it will cl cl classify as an ebook, but it is a basically a book that people read on a device okay maybe they read it on their phone maybe they read it on the computer but it's ebook it is not print okay now i'm gonna give you some pros and cons for both so that you can decide which one is better for you in your business so here are the pros to creating a ebook or ebooks with the s all right higher price point you can price your ebooks at a higher price point because genuinely a lot of people will sell them for a higher price compared to the low content books because see when you can you can price an ebook at 9.99 right at ten dollars or maybe even 25 bucks and they will sell because typically people think ebook is a much more higher value product than a lower content book although the lower content books are printed more than likely they are printed now they can be digital Okay, your low content books can be digital. However, more than likely what's going to sell if they are printed. So if you have an ebook, they're going to sell a lot more at a higher price point than in, in when you sell them at a higher price point, you get more profits for your sale when they're higher than the low content book. Here's another pro. It is deep value. So ebooks can allow you as the author to share more in-depth knowledge or your expertise and can and can lead to a greater perceived value. So it's all about perception, okay? Perception of the customer. The perception of the customer is that when you think of ebook, I'm gonna get more of a value because typically people think that the more words you have, the more valuable it is. Even though sometimes that's not the case, but you and I know that when people pick up an ebook, it seems it tends in their mind to think that it is more of a value than it is a low content book because there are more words, okay? Evergreen content. This is another pro. If your ebook covers like timeless topics, it can generate passive income for years to come without updating. That's something that I teach my students. You want to have passive income and you want to have active income, especially when I'm talking more about the soft life digital publishing business. You're going to have both. You're going to have some of your ebooks that need to be more of the timeless topics, things that never change. They are just the same. Have you ever thought of, even think about life in general, there are certain things that are timeless that will never change. <laughs> like, for example, the calendar. Like, 
it's always going to be 31 days in some months. It's always going to be 30 days in some months. Like those things never change. No matter what year we're in, it does not matter. Think about your own topic and how you can create evergreen content that lives over and over again. So you, you know, you don't have to make changes and it can sell for years to come. There are some timeless topics. Okay. Now it's very much scalable, which is the, the another pro to creating eBooks. You can sell eBooks on multiple platforms. So you can sell eBooks on Amazon KDP. That is a stream by itself. You can also sell on Gumroad. Gumroad is a stream by itself, which Amazon has its own customer base and platform. Gumroad and Payhip, I'm going to use them both in the same in the same instance because they both do the same. You can you have control, meaning you have your own store. Um, Amazon KDP, you do have control, but you have more of a customer base, but you don't have, you have more control on gun rolling pay here because it's your store. Okay. Amazon, we're still at the likes of that platform. Okay. That means we can't upload anything that we want because it goes through a process before it gets approved. Gun roll and pay hip do not. It's your store. You're creating your own store. But here's the great thing about Gumroad and PayHip. They also have their customer base, which PayHip just recently launched this option. Gumroad has always had it, where Gumroad and PayHip are saying, listen, we have a customer base, people that are looking for different digital products, ebooks, and those sorts of things. You can, for additional price, okay? So you price your ebook. At, I'm gonna use Gumroad as an example. With Gumroad, you can use their platform for free. PayHip, you can use their platform for free. But with Gumroad, each time you make a sale, they're gonna take 10%. Okay, they take 10%, which is much higher than PayHip. I think PayHip is two or five percent. Okay. Now, when you use Gumroad, once they take that 10%, so let's say you price your ebook at 10 bucks. So they're going to take 10% of that 10 bucks, okay? Then they have an option when you upload in Gumroad that if you want them to boost your product, that means you want them to show it. That means you can get more visibility. You're still paying for the, for the visibility because they're going to take additional then you can start it off at 30%. So they're already going to take 10%, but they say, okay, for the rest of your um, funds, we can take 30% of that and we'll use that as an option for you, for us to get it in front of more people. Now that does help you with ads. That means you may not necessarily need to have like paid ads for this because it's coming out of anytime someone make, just makes a purchase versus any type of ads, you definitely would need to have some money up front to pay for it, whether people buy it or not, right? So with Gumroad and PayHip, they operate pretty much the same. PayHip just started where you can list your products in their store, which gives you more reach to more people, but you still have to pay in order to get that reach, okay? So it's not technically free. However, it doesn't really come out of your pocket because it's based on per sale, okay? So think about that with your eBooks. You can, you can decide, hey, I'm going to put my ebook on Amazon KDP. Then I'm going to also put it on Gumroad or PayHip. I want to suggest you doing both if you don't have the bandwidth. Pick one of those and put it on Gumroad as well. Another option that I don't have here that could also be great is Etsy. Etsy is also an SEO platform as well, which I talk a lot about that here on my platform about these SEO platforms. With these SEO platforms, that means people are searching for particular things and your products could be the thing that comes up in the search result where people can buy, okay? Which I highly recommend because you can get in front a wider variety of people like YouTube. YouTube is a search engine 
platform that I absolutely love that I use to drive traffic and I use it even right now to teach. OK, so depending on your strategy and how you want to use that, but I suggest highly suggest using Amazon KDP as well as either Gumroll or PayHip and maybe Etsy, maybe Etsy. If you have the bandwidth, that's another way you can get your product out. And that's where the passive income comes in. Okay. Yes, you have to do some work in the beginning, but once you set it up, it can be set up and you're on. Okay. All right. So here are the cons. There's always pros and there's always cons to eBooks. Now eBooks, the con is that it could take a little bit more longer to create. So when you're writing an eBook, it could take you two weeks, a month, depending on how your how high content you're going to have. Okay. So I personally, this does, it doesn't take me long because I use content I already have, especially videos, okay, especially blog posts. There's no need for me to recreate an ebook over um, by content that I already have. So for you, it could take you a little bit longer when it comes to an ebook. Now, also requires marketing. Now, I'm not going to say that low content books don't require marketing but typically ebooks require you a lot more marketing for you to generate sales okay so like emails uh, seo and as well as ads if you choose to dive into like pinterest ads is going to take you marketing to get your stuff out there especially with an ebook that is more um, based on knowledge and expertise okay now let's talk about co low content books. Low content books are your journals, are your planners, are your notebooks. They don't require whole lots of writing. That's what a low content book is. Is what it says. Low content. Okay. Ebooks are considered high content. Okay. I did a video um, giving you the verses of a low content, medium content, and a high content. I'll link that below as well. So you got your low content books. Now the pros to your low content books, they are very much fast to, cre to create. Get you a template, which I have some templates. Get you a template, get you a cover, which my templates come with covers and things like that. Get that and you can have your low content book created and published in a day you know then it takes quicker than it would a ebook okay so all you need is some simple software which is using canva grab your templates i got 7500 templates in the description grab those and you are good to go okay now another pro is frequent purchases okay not saying ebooks can be frequently purchased as well but you're going to typically find that people are going to have frequently more purchases on one particular book for example if you have a planner you're probably going to have people purchasing not just one planner but multiple because some people use planners journals to give for gifts they use them for their teams they're using for their companies so that would give you a lot more of steady sales for your business because you have that particular product so i want you to think beyond just amazon kdp with your low content books yes that's where we start is where i teach you to definitely start where you can make a great income however you also want to look at how you can expand how you can get more sales with your low content books. And that means going out there, getting in front of HR professionals, getting in front of people that purchase these things anyway for their team. They're just not purchasing from you. Okay. Now there's lower competition in niche marketing when it comes to your low content book. When you get that right niche or niche, okay, you can stand out and sell to a specific audience with little competition. So I'm not teaching you to just upload a notebook, a pink notebook or a purple notebook or just to sell it. No. Who is it for? The more niche you are, the better. OK, it's also easier passive income. So once you design and upload it, it's really not much effort that you have to do with a low content book It's ready to go and it's ready to sell 
over and over and over again, okay? But there are some cons. There are some cons to creating low content book. They are the lower price point, okay? Whether it's digital or whether it is a printed, more than likely people, I want you to look at even going to the dollar store, the Dollar Trees and the, you know, the Walmarts, the Targets, people that purchase planners and things, may not purchase those over 20 bucks okay probably a little bit more lower um i think i purchased my last planner for like 5.99 so i want you to think about that for your own low content books you're going to need to sell you're going to have more you got to have more volume because you're going to sell them lower so it's a difference between having a ebook that's uh 15 pages but you have great content in there you have loads of content that is very valuable to your customer versus a lower content book that's a notebook or a planner and people may purchase it for like three four ninety nine there's a big difference there is customization required with most of your low content books so they are some buyers prefer custom or maybe highly specific content so that your book can stand out so you're going to find that more with low content books that yes it's easier to get a template where you can go and you can create and you can do those things however there's a little bit more customization as well okay so which one is better for passive income which one do you think is better for passive income tell me down in the comments which one you think is better and i'm going to tell you my answer okay when it comes to ebooks they are ideally if you have a deep knowledge and expertise to share and you want to create a higher ticket product that you can sell over and over again okay that's what ebooks are for but with low content books they're better for quick create creations niche targeting and those that are looking for a lower upfront time investment with steady and long-term passive income okay so here's my thing i suggest you create both i think they are both great i create both okay if you can create both you can de definitely diversify your income streams and maximize your potential for passive income so definitely think about creating both okay for your business that's what i do and that's my suggestion okay which one do you feel is aligned better with your goals right now and i'm not saying you have to create both right now start with one which one do you feel right now would be the easiest for you to create okay my answer would be different from yours okay so you tell me down in the comments which one would be better much aligned for you right now if you want to start with the low content books again i got 7500 templates right there below in the description you go and get that and i also have the templates for your covers you don't even have to create your covers i got all of that covered for you along with loads of um content a lot um I have different other templates i have i'm always updating that bundle so if you want to get access to that you can okay so thank you so much for watching today's youtube video i love talking about creating multiple streams of income and digital publishing make sure you like the video subscribe hit that notification bell so when i upload a new video you will be the first to know now if you want to learn my framework around creating a digital publishing business a profitable digital publishing business in 90 days without the social media overwhelm go ahead and get access to my on demand training where i'm showing you the digital publisher online business blueprint get that absolutely for free now if you're ready for coaching you're ready to be pushed you want to also get engaged with a community of other digital publishers come on and join the digital publisher academy it is my monthly membership you join for 97 dollars a month and you get access to coaching we have um monthly q a's we have working sections as well you can also submit like you have you created a cover and you want to submit that to me for me to look at and i'll give you video feedback we have that in the community and it's a great place for you to get started in your digital publishing business okay so listen tell me below which one you're going to create doesn't matter which one you decide. Come on over to the Academy so we can get you to making your money, honey.